Today we are getting into like a different style of video, which I'm really excited about. We are going to be talking all about JLo Beauty, which is JLo's brand new skincare brand. I received a couple of products. I've been using them for the past couple of weeks, and I'm really excited not only to give you guys a full demo, but give you my entire like review on the line, on the products, what I like, what I don't like. So yeah, it's going to be a fun one. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, we kind of got to get this hair out of the way. Boom, this is a headband. I actually received this in PR. I'm so sorry. I know I'm probably gonna receive questions on it, but I did receive it from a PR package from, I think it was Charlotte Tilbury. So JLo Beauty, huh? Huh, huh? Okay, so wait, before we actually jump in, is it just me or is every single celebrity, like nowadays just coming out with a company, either makeup, skincare, or hair related. I mean, Pharrell got a skincare line, JLo got a skincare line, Rihanna got a skincare line, everybody's doing skincare lines, people are jumping into the makeup scene as well. We got Selena Gomez with her Rare Beauty brand. I mean, I feel like it's been crazy, so I'm not I'm not gonna lie, no shade on JLo, I absolutely love JLo to pieces, but when I saw that JLo Beauty was coming out, I was low key kinda just like, here we go, a whole nother celebrity brand. It's like for celebrities, anybody who is aging well is coming out with a brand. Hair, skin, makeup, if you're doing well, they're gonna come out with a brand. I don't know, it just, sometimes it can come across a little bit less genuine, but I love me some JLo, genuinely. So I was really excited when I did receive the product. So I do have three. First we have the JLo Beauty That Limitless Glow Mask. So this is like one of those sheet masks, which I'm really excited for. It only came with this one mask, so this is the one product out of the three that I have that I have not tried, so this will kind of be like a first impression. Then we have that JLo Glow Serum. First of all, I mean, we gotta talk about the packaging, right? This just looks really luxe, really nice. Let's get this camera to focus. Like, look at that. I feel like it is super unique and it just looks and feels expensive and it feels like something that JLo would have. You know what I mean? Like, just look at it. It looks like it belongs on the vanity counter of a star, right? So a glow serum and then they also sent me a moisturizer and the one that they sent me is the Blockbuster. So that's their Wonder Cream and I'm actually really, really glad they sent me this one. They do have another moisturizer that seems like it's meant to be more for daytime because it does have SPF in there. But if you guys know me well, you know that I don't I do not do chemical SPF. I stick to my mineral sunscreens. And her moisturizer did come with a chemical SPF. So I wouldn't have ever used that product anyway. Super glad we got the Wonder Cream SPF free and again. Packaging, 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 sis. This is just gorgeous. Let's do this. I actually really love the fact that all of her products are all about a glow. I mean, y'all know me. I love a really nice, juicy, glowy complexion with or without makeup. So, ooh, this is saturated, honey. This is, wow, this is filled with product, which I like. So basically for the mask, it says you just stick it on your face and you wear it for 10 minutes, and then that is it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it comes in two halves. I thought that I ripped it for a second. I was like, what did I do? But it actually comes in two halves, which is interesting. I've only ever seen like sheet masks that comes as like one whole thing, but I guess this makes it like wearable for everybody. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. Ooh, it just feels nice and just Oh my gosh, this thing is packed with products. Oh my gosh, my eyebrows are going to disappear. Guys, when I take this off and my eyebrows are gone, like I did draw them on a little bit, so just don't don't be alarmed if I have no eyebrows when this mask comes off. Oh, honestly, this feels so good. This feels so good and so soothing and I look ridiculous. It feels so good. I wanted to talk to y'all while I had this mask on, but I don't even know if I can take myself seriously. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and like kind of rub in the products, mostly because it just really feels good doing this. Let me look on Sephora really quick because I'm kind of curious to see how they sell these. If you have to buy one at a time, it's kind of... Okay, so you can buy a pack of three masks for $48, so these are a little bit on the pricier side. Usually you can get sheet masks for like $3 each. So for a pack of three for 48, that is pretty expensive, y'all, okay? So this better do some magic for my skin. This better do 
something special. So, so far so good. I have combination skin for reference that sometimes gets really sensitive a little bit and like not overly sensitive or anything but I know it doesn't like like super harsh products. My skin is also acne prone so I do get hormonal acne from time to time. When my skin doesn't like a product, I will usually break out immediately. It will let me know like stop using this, I don't like it. And so far with these two, I'll just like spoiler alert right now, I've been using these for the last two weeks or so and they haven't broken me out at all. So I was very, very happy about that. Sometimes with glow products that are filled with like more oils, stuff that are more buttery on the skin, sometimes that can cause a lot of acne. But for me personally, I did not experience that with these two products, so I'm not expecting to experience that with this mask either. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes now. I can kind of feel that my skin has like absorbed a little bit of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Oh, that is top 10 and not 10 of feelings. Oh, it feels so good when you pull this off your skin. Oh my, that literally feels incredible. So for this mask, what it says is you actually don't rinse it off. You're meant to just kind of let the rest of the serum just really soak into your skin. So that's what I'm going to do. It's still really wet though, so I'm probably gonna have to give it a few more minutes before we move on to the next step. Oh look, this has completely dried down. Here's what my skin is looking like right now. It just looks happy. Honestly, um, I feel like I still need a moisturizer on top of it, but overall my skin does feel really good. We've got a little bit of a glow starting to happen here. So first impression on the mask, I would say I love it, but is it something that I would purchase personally for that amount of money? Probably not. There's a ton of other masks that do the same thing, if not even better, for way cheaper. So I do feel like this one is a little bit on the extra expensive side. But let's go ahead and jump into this serum. This is called That JLo Glow. Again, everything to do with her skincare is just all about glow, and I love it. And I cannot wait to show you guys this serum. I will say I really, really enjoy this serum because it really does give you a glow, like more of a glow than I've ever gone from any other kind of hydrating or glowy serums. Literally, it is now dried down to the touch, right? Do y'all see this? It looks like such a wet, slick, dewy kind of glow. I've never used a serum like this before, and I really, really like it. I just think it's such a youthful, dewy kind of glow. I will say it does kind of feel like there's something over my face. Like, you know how I'm saying that it's dried down? You can kind of feel that, but it does go away a little bit when you get into the moisturizer. So here is what the moisturizer looks like. She thick, and I love it. This one is all about the glow. Look at how supple and just happy and glowy my skin looks. I think this is a really beautiful glow, especially if you are going without makeup. It looks like you're awake. You're alive, you look youthful. I did want to point something out to you guys though. So I will notice that if you are a face toucher, this stuff pills a little bit. I'm noticing it's especially happening under here pretty badly. Oh yes, yeah. see, I know you guys can see that. This is actually a pet peeve of mine. I hate when products do this. We definitely still had a lot of juices from the mask under here, so I'm assuming that's why it's probably a little bit worse down here, but that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. Now you might be wondering, okay, if it pills by touching your face, how is it gonna look under makeup? You know what, let's do it. Let me show you guys exactly how this is going to look under makeup. All right, so I'm gonna grab my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I had to do all of this because it's really a tongue twister. And y'all are about to see the beautiful glow that comes through this foundation with this serum and moisturizer underneath. So it is gonna be important to make sure that, again, you're not swishing your brush like this because you don't wanna create any issues. I don't normally apply my foundation like that anyway, so that's not a major thing for me. And it not only feels like really comfortable to wear because my skin was so like hydrated and nice and glowy underneath, but it's also a beautiful finish. Like, are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is, this is it. Houston, we have a problem. So, remember when I said this was my first time actually using the glow mask? It is actually pilling. I honestly don't know if the camera is gonna be able to pick this up, but 
it is actually peeling with the foundation on top and now I'm I'm shook because I've used the serum and the moisturizer underneath makeup multiple times and it came out beautifully flawless but it looks like when you use the mask as well like I don't think this mask is actually meant to be worn underneath makeup because this does not mm -mm. it might look good in the camera underneath the studio lights but honestly like being real with y'all like looking in person it looks it looks a little pilly I'm gonna keep trying to blend to see if it goes away but this might not be a mask that you can wear underneath makeup yeah. all right y'all so here is a very super basic look I literally just did foundation blush and some lip liner and gloss and that is all I just kind of wanted to finish it up a little bit just so we can actually see our final results so you can see the glow is a really beautiful glow it's still kind of coming through still got the JLo glow beautiful right my issue is with the pilling the pilling is not okay okay so final thoughts and opinions the mask was really great it's super expensive though and it does pill if you're gonna put makeup on top of it I kind of feel a little bit disappointed for a product that is so pricey for what it actually is now as for the serum and the moisturizer though I absolutely love them and I hate the fact that I used the mask today and then had a major pilling issue with makeup on top but I promise you when you use just the serum and the moisturizer underneath makeup you don't have that issue at all it literally just glides on so beautifully I do have other creams that are kind of similar to this wonder cream but I I think I will have to say the serum is my favorite it is a truly unique serum I haven't used anything like it and it genuinely just gives like a really beautiful glow I actually didn't put the highlighter on today I just did the blush and you can see we have like a beautiful natural glow just coming through and this is my favorite kind of glow so this this is it for me I love the serum this would probably be my favorite product out of all three of these by far the wonder cream I also really love but I do think it is quite similar to other creams out there it doesn't seem like anything super special super fantastic it's just a really nice cream that feels really good on the skin they do have other products by the way and the one that I already have in my Sephora cart is the star filter highlighting complexion booster let me show you all a good picture so it is, ooh, can you see that? Can you see, oh, here we go. This bad boy is what I want. It's basically like a creamy highlighter, which like I said, is my favorite thing of all time. So that really is the only other product that I haven't tried here that I would actually go out and purchase and would love to try myself and see how that works with makeup to continue with the whole JLo glow thing because I love it and that is basically it for this video you guys if you have any additional questions for me go ahead and comment them below I really hope you had fun with me and enjoyed this if you did go ahead and give your girl a little thumbs up and also if you are new here don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you in the next one bye